Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about relative sorting. So the explanation here is completely based on the assumption that you already have some basic coding knowledge. If you are not good at basic coding, please visit our website learningmonkey.in. Take the course placement training for service based companies, then come for the competitive coding. Coming to today's example, given two array of integers, array 1 and array 2 of size n and m. So our task here is to sort the first array, array 1, based on the relative position of elements in first array is same as elements in second array. We need to we need to identify we need to sort the first array elements based on the second array elements positions that is what relative sorting means uh, with example you are going to understand it better so if elements repeated in array 2 if a array 2 is having repeated elements uh, consider the first occurrence position we need to identify the based on the first occurrence position we have to do the relative sorting uh, example take the example 2 1 2 1 5 3 6 7 4 this is the first array this has to be sorted according to array 2 means uh, in the array 2 the what's the first element uh, 5 so our output should contain uh, is 5 present in array 1 yes 5 present in array 1 this should become first in the output uh, what's the next element in array 2 1 is one present in array one yes one present in array one how many times two times one one so next two elements are one one what's the next element in array two two is two present in array one yes two times uh, two two then what's the remaining nine present in array one no so no need to do the sorting and what are the remaining elements present in array one three six seven four so we have to arrange them in ascending order 3 4 6 7 this is what relative sorting means this should be done based on the time complexity of order of n log n and space complexity of order of n so in this type of examples we are going to use hashing te hashing technique hash table which we already discussed in our basic data structures course there we clearly discussed about what is hash key hash table and how to find the elements based on the hash key these discussions were made in our data structures if you are not good at hashing please watch our data structures finish it and then come back here because this is the first example on hashing we are going to give you some refreshing on a hash table let's refresh the concept of hashing using hashing hash table contains key value pairs this is key 10 what is the value for that x 5 y 6 z 11 f if you want to identify the element 6 from the hash table we can do that efficiently using the hash function if you want to identify 6 hash function is going to provide you the location of the 6 directly we can go there and get the value because that's why hashing finding an element in hashing is done in order of one time this point is very very important this basic knowledge which we provided there is very very important here we can identify the elements present in hash table in order of one time otherwise we have to search the elements one by one in the hash table until you found six then you will get the value no need to do that directly we can jump to the position based on the hash key different hash keys are discussed in our basic data structures course so coming to coming to our implementation is based on python no, no need of python remaining languages also hash table classes are there in java hash table class is there you can use that class to create the hash table but in python in python we can use dictionaries we can use dictionaries to create a hash table dictionary is key value pair the the, the structure that is going to be used in dictionary is hash table so if you use dictionary automatically it is uh, it is same as a hash table so that's why when we go with the dictionaries uh, that is the advantage of python when we go with the dictionaries uh, if you want to identify the key value uh, in, in uh, the values present in the dictionary 
if you want to identify the key we, we can directly jump to that position using hash key function dictionaries are going to use that now coming to that uh, how this hash table is used in our example let's try to understand that uh, array 1 array 2 first what we are going to do here is uh, read the elements one by one and create a hash table if you are using python create a dictionary with key value pairs here key is element value is uh, how many times this element occurred that is what value means uh, key 2 how many times 2 occurred 2 times uh, 1 occurred 2 times 5 1 time 3 1 time 6 1 time 7 1 time 4 1 time so we are also discussing coding here how you write this uh, read the elements one by one create a dictionary key value value is initially one again if you found to increment the count value count value is count so this is the basic basic coding for dictionaries uh, adding elements to the dictionary and taking the value and incrementing the value if uh, the element is already found if the key is already found this basic uh, coding discussed when we discussed the python dictionaries uh, so that is how we are going to create a, this value count key count key count key count key means elements of the array one uh, so why we are creating that uh, once you create this dictionary it is very very easy to identify the elements uh, now read the elements from the array 2 what is the first element 5 check in the hash table means dictionary 5 is present how many times it is present one time so add 5 one time to the list take an empty list add the elements one by one once you already used it make this value zero why we are making it as zero because if five again found in the array two you are not supposed to add it so that's why we are making it as zero next what's the element present in here in the array two one check the element one how many times it is present two times so add so next element is one right here one one we have written the uh, wrong output here one one two two so we made a mistake here 2 2 it's not 2 2 1 1 should be first and next 2 2 so next element is 2 2 2 times so add 2 2 and make this value 0 so what are the remaining elements present in the hash table other if their count is greater than 0 if it is 0 no need to add it what are the remaining elements 3 6 7 4 take the keys and arrange them in a sorted order use the sorting algorithm to arrange these keys in sorted order and we are having the values so we can display them those many times this is how we are going to do now coming to the coding part also coding part we are going to discuss in python you write the code to create a dictionary or otherwise in python collections they have provided a counter class if you use this class it is going to create this dictionary key counter means element is taken as key and count is considered as the value it is going to create that either you can use this counter class or you can write the code it's very simple simple loop and you can add the dictionary values so here we are going to use from collections import counter we created the dictionary f from that we are going to take all the elements one by one appending to the result result is a list which we considered here and after that at last finally elements that have remained after after the completion of elements that are in the array two, the remaining elements in the in the dictionary should be sorted using a sorted function we are applying a filter because we are not supposed to consider this f of x not equal to zero those elements only should be considered that's why we are using lambda function hoping that you already know this basic lambda functions how these functions work we are not going in detailed explanation of the code so after listening to the logic you try to solve write the code on your own that is the best practice Hope you understand this example if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you